hey guys so welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a tour of my accommodation albion house which is under like the board gate board gates park um like group in the university of Nottingham accommodations so i'll be showing you guys my room the bathroom and toilet situation the kitchen and then i'll be showing you like the outdoor like what is around our com what is in beeston High Street, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Lidl, transportation, tram stop, bus stop, you get the gist. So just watch if you're thinking of booking accommodation in the University of Nottingham. And if you have any questions, comment them down below so I can answer. So yeah. Hey guys, so this is the front of the com. It's like car box inside. And once you get in, you have to use your key card so it's just a white card okay go in and then you have your big packages here can't lie they don't use the lockers and lock it in but they don't really do that in all eye okay this is get in and there you have the laundry this is where you wash your laundry and dry it. Usually there's like, even though there's only three of each, um, usually one is free at least. This is where I come into my com. Um, usually you have to use a key card here, but you know, it's open right now, I don't know why. Anyways, this is my com. Let me show you guys the toilet bathroom situation. It's the first toilet, just a little room, toilet and sink. Then you have another one here you have mirrors in them as well then you have this like the big shower this is the one i would get showered every day um yeah so this is how it looks and then you've got pegs put your stuff in as well um, yeah and it's the second one it's much smaller it's still okay yeah. Okay, then literally the first room on the right is mine, number four, the platform number four. Um, you come in, first thing to your right is the sink. Can't lie, guys, I'm sorry, I haven't cleaned it properly, but yeah, you literally have a sink. You can brush your teeth, wash your hands, wash your plates, etc. Have a little mirror on top, has this light as well, which is actually pretty useful. Then under you have, oh guys, I'm sorry, I know it doesn't know the cleaners, but you literally have storage space, cleaning stuff, stuff like that. You have a radiator, just have my towel and some clothes inside. Then um, you have these drawers, I don't really use them anymore. Um, yeah, I don't really use them. But yeah, that's a pot, my big pot is inside of there. And then, yeah, you have your cupboard now. So this is where, you know, obviously, store your clothes and stuff these are all my clothes then i have like some beauty stuff have some like i put my towels here put my bed sheets here and, and i put my water down there i have one left because i'm actually leaving in a couple days but yeah sorry guys don't look at the bottom you think yeah i don't need to see there and then you have a bed you literally have a single bed um it doesn't come with like all of these um bed sheets and stuff you have to buy them yourself but yeah just have my bed my duvet my blanket my pillows and stuff and then you have a charging port or two here, but you're probably going to need a, what's it called? Extension cord. Yes. And then, yeah, down there I actually have my rug. And then you, it comes with this chair, spinny chair as well. So sit down at your desk and do your stuff. I think it actually has enough space. Um, yeah, so I have my switch on here, my monitor, you know, I can lay my MacBook, a notebook, there's something else maybe like a mirror or something here so yeah you've basically got enough space for everything and then you've got three little cabinets in here i use these to just store like like personal sanitary stuff papers um like jewelry and just miscellaneous and like, guys it's not tidy please don't judge me but yeah then you've got two shelves i just put like fruit i put fruit bread drinks snacks here and then those are like miscellaneous stuff um and yeah you've got you know space on top of the cupboards 
as well to put your stuff then because i'm on the bottom floor we have these so that people can't like break in so you can only open the window a little bit which i wish I, it could open more because it's not really enough for me personally like just have it open like that but it's okay and then you've literally got blue curtains but yeah this is the view oh someone's coming don't want to record them this is the view from my com so literally everyone has to walk past my room well most people have to walk past my room to get to a com so it's a bit awkward because if i open my curtains then literally everyone sees me but yeah this is the view it's a pretty smaller com compared to other coms um but yeah that's pretty much it for my room i think it's a decent you know re reasonably sized room for the price it's like around 130 pounds per week which is like the cheapest or the second cheapest or something like that in the whole of um your inner comms so i would actually recommend it and then also yeah it comes with this lamp it comes with yeah that's an apoplexic then it comes with this lamp which i find pretty useful when i don't put on the main light too much i never ever put on the main light because it's really bright but yeah i think that's pretty much it for my room and then yeah sorry i literally ignore this because i have nothing on it you have this put pictures pin pictures and stuff on it but i literally have not utilized it so yeah and then obviously on the door you've got your door hooks put my coat put different miscellaneous stuff on it and then yeah obviously you lock your door but from the outside you lock it with these and yeah that's pretty much it hey guys so here's the kitchen i'm recording this in advance because our kitchen just got clean so it gets cleaned every single tuesday by the cleaner it's the kitchen we actually got it refurbished in february this is my cupboard this is how big the cupboard space is and this is my other cupboard And on my days, my drawers my see please guys don't judge me. But yeah, that's the cupboard, that's the drawer. Uh, yeah, we all get two cupboards each, one drawer. Well, one person doesn't get a drawer because there aren't enough. But um, this is the stove, it's electric. Um, and then this is how you turn it on. There are five little places to cook. So turn it off and then this is the sink area i've got two sinks with one tap then we've got you know more cupboards then this is the fridge that's how big it is inside that's my shelf so you literally just get one small shelf the old fridges used to be bigger and the freezers as well old fridges used to be bigger but i actually claimed two for myself and the biggest ones as well i'm actually gonna have joined right now yeah, this is the little um, table that you can sit at. Yeah, it's a bit low, but yeah, that chair is, um, isn't provided though. That's from some room. And those are the bins, quite small. But yeah, then you've got like a board. You can draw things on, write things on. That was only that flatmates. And then, yeah, this is the microwave. Then that's someone else's toaster, not the unis. And this is the kettle. And then that's the unis, actual toaster. Then there's a bin there. I don't know if that's someone's or the unis. But yeah, that's like the kitchen. Cute, you got provided with a ironing board as you can see. And then there's also a hoover that you can use when you're cleaning. So I use it to hoover my room. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, and this is the oven. I don't use it because I have an air fryer, but there's two little sections and yeah that's pretty much it nice little kitchen nice little interior i just have to make sure you keep it clean yeah so you just have to you just have to make sure you keep it clean because even though you have cleaners don't take them in like they can always refuse to clean your kitchen so clean up after yourselves basically so yeah right now i'm about to cook so that you click which what you want they click the numbers i'm gonna do it kind of high because i'm gonna contain um but yeah i can't lie i feel like the appliances aren't as good as home like it takes longer to heat up but it's still fine and yeah so as you're coming out of the account there is literally a safe resource so my account is there and this 
this is where the Sainsbury's is. Pretty good Sainsbury's. store I get my plantain and stuff like that from here this is the tram stop for Albion house it's literally like less than 10 minutes walk um tram to the city tram to uni etc then down there you can see Tesco and then along here you've got like a chicken shop you got um corner shop and yeah, just normal shops like that. Here they've got like a little anime and K pop Asian store. They've got a few like oriental stores anyway. They have like small restaurants. I've never actually visited most of them, but they look good. This one is highly recommended. I think one person recommended it. But yeah, this like high street, literally like a few minutes walk from the Econ. Got like beauty shops stuff like that and i quite like how they have sabers they have boots they have poundland here as well and then right next to the high street you literally have a really big tesco here's the car park you just go through the, the car park to get there i highly recommend this shop to do your shopping but yeah this is the tesco you might see down there it's actually two floors um yeah it's really big really nice there's a lot of stuff Then here is the middle. It takes like five minutes to walk to from the Econ. I'm actually gonna go in now because I'm gonna get some from the bakery. Um, but yeah. We've got some more shops there, but literally, I've not even explored decent like that. Like, there's so many shops I haven't even been to. We need to explore more but i won't even be living here next year so yeah nice little area but this is another view of the sainsbury's literally sainsbury's here the mark comes like behind this car park literally that sainsbury's then that red building back right there is my car so yeah we stay close very convenient i need last minute things it's just pop sainsbury's and the only things i'll see sainsbury's isn't as budget friendly as little and Tesco, so try not to say things with too much. So yeah, all in all, I would say this is actually like an alright com. Like for the cheapest, it's really not bad. Like I used to complain about this all the time, but it's really not that bad. It's just that um if you're like an ethnic minority, you won't really be seeing your type here much. Like there's only a few black people in my com I've seen here. Um, if you want black people, go to SVC, Deacons, do to that area, around Jubilee. But honestly, it's not like the end of the world if you're not in that area. Like me being here, like I'm fine. You know, obviously I have to like travel a bit further to meet with my friends because they all live around that area. But all in all, it's really not that bad living here as a, as a POC. Like all my flatmates are white, except for one of them who's South Asian. So obviously it's like, I would prefer to have people that look like me, but... At the end of the day, I'm only here for first year as well. So yeah, just wear the options. See what's important to you. I think for being the cheapest of home, it's not bad. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any more questions. And if you want any more content on university, on first year, on Nottingham. And yeah, 